So this weekend I got um, an EEG monitor put on my head. Um, you can see some of the leads um, on my forehead. I have them behind my ears um, and they're all over here and then all the wires come out um, and then they all go into this this purse thing here that I've uh, been carrying around with me this weekend. Um, so that's been fun. People think I'm like some sort of, like I'm like an alien or something. So I've been keeping my beanie on or a scarf or something, but the this obviously still shows and looks weird. Um, so, but the reason I need it is because I have done the EEGs in the hospital, um, the one hour ones, but I have you there, um, but now that they're, um, back and my medication's no longer controlling the seizures, uh, they needed a longer term one so three days so it's really nice that they have the option for a por portable EEG like this um, that I can take home with me so I don't have to stay in the hospital all that time but then it's also important because some some uh, seizures are triggered by certain activities that people do in everyday life and if they were to be in the hospital for three days it may never happen because they aren't doing things that cause the seizures at home so um but this is what the machine looks like she wrapped it up but uh the wires are wrapped in there um and then i have the numbers on there to know that it's still on um so yeah. Bummer is that uh, you cannot shower with it on your head because it cannot get wet. So, fantastic three days that I have not been allowed to shower, which is not fun. But, uh, eye on the prize. Hopefully, the seizures will um, be able to uh, be controlled once they uh, see what's going on in there. Maybe I've developed a new type of seizure starting somewhere else in my brain that um, or maybe it's just being stubborn like me um, so yeah um, it's extremely itchy if ever you have to wear this thing I warn you and you can't put anti-itch cream on it because it's in your head so take allergy medication and when it really bothers me, I just like put pressure and it feels so good. And I know it probably sends some weird signal down there, but so I, only if it gets really bad and then it'll mess something up and then I stop. So, <laughs> uh, so. well, if you're sick and watching this, um, I hope it makes you feel less alone or maybe it gives you some understanding of something that you're going to do, an ambulatory EEG is what it's called, um, or for someone who is healthy, help you understand a little bit more um, what people like me go through on a daily basis, because I go out there and if I don't have this on, I look completely normal. People think I'm healthy, so it was, it was different for a day. Um, to be going to the movies, going um, to parties, and and uh, going out, um, and having this on, and people could tell that I was sick instead of when I don't have that on, they look completely healthy, and people have no idea. Um, but a little having some electrodes on you, the difference that that makes is it's kind of huge, you know. The glares I get when I get out of my car, if I use the handicap placard, um, disappear when it becomes visible. Right now I can't drive anyway, obviously because of the seizures, um, but yeah, it's been uh, different and uh, 
there are definitely benefits on both sides for people with invisible illnesses, you know, let me say, like, I wish people could see it, but uh, when you have a visible something, you just wish, you know, that you could look normal for a day, pretend you're normal, go somewhere where people don't know you and be able to act like you're normal, but you don't have that option. Um, so it's, you know, catch 22. If you have it one way, you want it the other way. Um, so this, this kind of put me on the other side and I realized that when I went out, I didn't want to have to keep it on. I wanted to take it off and fit in, I guess you would say. Um, but then I just owned it. Um, I realized that they don't know me. Um, this is part of me. I have to go through this and if people judge me or don't like the way it looks, then that's their problem because I'm fine with it. And my little bowl cut alien head is, is mine and no one can take it away from me and they can be jealous of my ponytail. You can actually see my little braids. I did my hair in braids because it, if I, if I wouldn't have done it in braids, it would be all over the place because you can't shower for three days, right? So it's already bad enough. But then it, it's also staying in place under the cap. Um, she had to move some of it around when she was putting the electrodes on. But uh, in the long run, braids tend to work really well for me in, um, with EEGs, especially ones, long ones. If it's like the one hour um, in hospital or in clinic or whatever, that EEG, um, then it's probably not um, important. You know, I just had my hair down for one of those because um, you leave right after and you can shower and wash it all out so it doesn't make a big difference uh, but if it's in there longer this is my second long-term EEG um the last one I did was like I believe it was like 36 hours so it wasn't this is 72 hours so it wasn't nearly as long as this one uh, about like half uh, half as long um, and the 36 hour one I did was, I was in the hospital the whole time. Um, so this is my first one that I've had to do at home. So, um, to some people it sounds weird to say, but I hope they find something wrong. <laughs> um, I've always, I always want them to see something wrong because if I'm, Getting the test on it obviously means that I feel sick, I feel like something is wrong, and they need to, I want them to find what it is so that they can treat it. And uh, if they come back and say, so good news, it's clear, there's nothing wrong, um, it, it really hurts and it lets you down and it's not good news because what it means is that they don't know what's wrong. They're telling you that it's not the seizures. Okay, great, but something's going on. So you telling me that this isn't what's wrong just means that I have to keep searching to find out what's wrong so that it can get fixed so I can feel better and get back to my normal life. Um, so that's kind of a weird thing. <laughs> people, people don't always understand that. Um, when you're hoping, hoping that they'll find something wrong on the test. Um, but hopefully that explanation um, makes sense and I don't sound like a crazy person. Uh, I kind of am, a little bit, not really. Um, so yeah, that's uh, just my opinion and all I have to say today. Um, 
I've been thinking about doing this for a while. I'm starting to do videos explaining um, what I go through um, on a daily basis. And so I decided, hey, while I've got this thing, I might as well finally start. Um, so that's it. Bye.